The deaf community gives you a sign name when you interact with them. I was given uh, Ellie. Okay, so this is my sign name. And they usually base it on your visual characteristics. For hearing people, communication can be said to be as easy as ABC. But for people with hearing impairment, there are many challenges in communicating. Key among them is the fact that very few Kenyans understand sign language. 22-year-old Eli Savatia and 23-year-old Lumona Mulengwa experienced the disconnect firsthand when working on a robotics project with students in various regions across the country. And that's how we started interacting with our deaf students. And to me that was an aha moment because I was unable to communicate in their language, sign language, and I set on a journey to break this communication barrier basically answering the question, how might we, as hearing people, integrate deaf people and create a solution that could help in seamless communication. The duo founded vis, -vis in 2021 and working with the deaf community, sign language interpreters and other stakeholders. They have built a software known as Economa that uses assistive technology to bridge the gap. Economa is a digital sign language interpreter. So regardless of whether you understand sign language or not, it is able to help you interact with a deaf person and uh, interpret sign language in real time. So how it works is it has two features. There's an AI interpreter and there's an automated avatar tool. The AI interpreter um, uses the camera to interpret sign language to text in real time. Uh, the vice versa is also true. Um, through the avatar tool, it's able to capture your text and voice as a hearing person and relay that information to a deaf individual visually through a sign language avatar. The initial version is going to be free to be accessed by all. The plan is to roll out Economa in the next two months with testing, corrections and smoothening out of bugs currently in progress. The software will be based on the Kenya Sign Language. Among the huge challenges faced in making the dream a reality was expensive data collection and training the software to encode signs from different people. The innovation aims to promote confidentiality in communication between the deaf and the hearing community, especially where sensitive information is involved like in hospitals and banking. So the use cases are actually diverse and uh, looking at our strategy we want to start with the education sector first then be able to move into other sectors yeah. and ideally anywhere communication is concerned even look at the bank spaces you wouldn't want to have a third party access the information through interpretation so we're really keen on that um, privacy aspect as well Eli and Lumona are confident that their work will succeed. Already, their innovation won the UNICEF Generation and Limited Youth Competition.